he has a very keen eye for the pocket. Here he has a little tough position play. He's going to have to cut the two in and come down table for the three. He does not want to get straight on the three. He's going to have to leave himself an angle. Yeah. And he's left himself tough. Mm. Three ball in the corner. He did not want to touch the four ball. Got a very tough cut shot here, but if he makes it, he'll have position on the four, I believe. This is speed control. How hard you hit this ball? He's been overcutting these shots. Let's see if he corrects himself. Oh, great oh, shot! Good cut. This guy carried a 180 average in bowling. It's just a—he's an athlete. Used to play summer pro baseball. We talked about uh, people doing other things. Four he was a corner. pitcher and an outfielder. Plus, he's an author. He's got the Young Sportsman's Guide to Pocket Billiards. It was published in '64. Well, what do you do now, Coach? He's got a combination. Combination five into the six. He'll play a combination, and his next shot, he'll probably put the five ball on the other side of the table and bring the cue ball back up table for the five. Unless he gets a double kiss here. He could make the six and get a double kiss with the cue ball into the five. Let's see the way he plays it. Billy Costello, the guy you're talking about, is over there. He's telling him, hey, I'd like to try that shot. See how he leaves himself here. Very important he gets position on the five. Okay. Oh, he made he make the five. No, he left it on the other side of the table for position. What a that, great shot. That was a great shot. That's very important, the speed and how hard to hit that, so he does have a shot after he makes the six. He'll come up here, two rails for the seven ball. There's one, one. two. Shot There's second. Well, Irving Crane leading shot. three games to two set. could wrap up the seven ball competition. Just like once again, sign. he's making sure. The game and set. You broke. Well, now there's a little confusion. You broke. You broke. Jimmy Karras is Earth talking to Charlie slider. Urseta. You broke the ball, sir. Did I break? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. See, I was saying before how it was a big advantage yeah, not to break the balls. <laughs> but here it cost Jimmy Karras the game because Irving got a seven ball on his side of the tail. He can shoot it straight in the corner. And he does. Set, Mr. Crane. As long as he don't makes it look easy. Holds a cue ball, so Irving Crane has picked up 10 ball. points. We're playing for $10,000. Second prize is $5,000. $3,500 for third. $2,500 for fourth. The other remaining competitors get $1,000. Sponsored by Big Fights Incorporated. Let's take a look at the setup here. This is nicely done. He hits the five into the six, brings the five on the other side of the table. And the cue ball comes up just a little bit for an angle on the five on so he can get one, position one for the seven next. Great shot. So Irving Crane has defeated Jimmy Karras in seven ball, four games to two. We'll be back for the nine ball competition. Fouled in a, ball, in a game right now, I should say, with Jimmy Karras, Irving Deacon Crane, the 68 world champion. Right now, the competition is tied at one. And now a little explanation once again on nine ball. It's different than the seven ball competition. Yes, it is. It's a lot harder to make game a ball in the break than seven ball. And it's a lot harder also to make the nine ball than it is to make the seven and seven ball. There's two extra balls on the table. You do not lose if you scratch on the nine. Or in the seven ball, you lose if you make the seven ball on the break. I wish it hadn't. Now see Irving letting him letting his ball go on the break like he like he's been doing lately. Finally it shows up. He should have the cue ball in the middle of the table. If he had the cue ball in the middle of the table, he'd have a shot at the one. But right now he's behind the nine ball. He really doesn't even have a shot to even hit the one. If he hits the one, it'll be a great shot. And you heard him say he was sorry that the five went down. You make a great point, Al. He doesn't. Ooh, that's a great shot right there. What a shot! Oh, that wasn't easy to do, Irv. <laughs> that was a tremendous shot. Plus, he leaves Jimmy Karras nothing. The five went down. This is game three. Crane and Karras, nine ball competition. Let me play a safety. Safety allowed. It's a good safe, too. Shot. <laughs> Very cautious game. A couple of Tigers just kind of feeling each other out here. Playing to hit the one. Nice and shot. Makes a nice safety. And he gets away with it, I believe. That's an excellent shot. If Jimmy Karras goes for the corner, it looks like a scratch shot here, Alan. Jimmy Karras shakes his head. Yes, he can't he can't try and make that in the corner. If he does, he will scratch in the side. He's gonna try and play a safety. I don't think he has a shot. 
If he tries to make it, it's going to be a very tough shot without scratching. Well, you got to put a lot of left low on it, don't you? Extreme draw left. He's not going. He's going to play a safety. Well, let's see if he gets behind the six. Oh, he's made a great what shot. A shot. He's <laughs> behind the five. It doesn't roll down too far. Well, it's still rolling. I believe Irving Crane can see it. Not an easy shot anyway, even if he can see it. He's up against the rail. The only thing he can do with the cue ball is follow it. Neither one of these guys exactly leave you a lot. No, they don't. They're very good safety players, both of them. Looks like Irving's going to try and make the ball. Tough shot. Uh, Alan, tough uh, shot. just a thought. A couple of cautious players, ball and, and then both will meet Minnesota Fats coming up in a competition who just lets it all hang out is that an advantage for a, a cautious player and Two ball does it corner. mean anything yes it is I feel that these players will have fatty is so loose and doesn't really care what kind of shot he shoots where these are very cautious players three ball fatty's have to make more mistakes than these two players which could cost them matches you know he lost his match with UJ because of a few mistakes he made Excuse me, not UJ Rags. That's right. Uh, we remember that competition. It was ball a simple ball five ball shot for Minnesota Fats. And uh, boy, that, that turned that one completely around. Jimmy Karras with the pool cue now. That's a good shot if he doesn't get behind the eight ball. Oh, Ooh, what a tough roll boy. there. Right behind the eight. It has not gone well for Jimmy Karras. He's been shaking his head. He's tied one game apiece. With Irving Crane, Crane won the first set in seven ball. Karras needs this to pick up the ten points and a chance for the other ten. They would go to eight ball. That's the playoff. Well, Jim, this oh is boy. a tough spot he's in now. He's talking to himself now. That's usually when you're in trouble, when you start talking to yourself. Jimmy, my boy, well, why'd you do it, he says. He might make this. It's Perfect. a good shot. Good shot is right. He played the right shot. That was a good shot. Right oh, speed man. and everything. He missed the ball. He figured to leave Irving Crane a tough shot, and he did. Irving Crane has a couple of choices here. He can play the six ball in the corner, cut it in the opposite corner, right hand on the bottom right hand side of your screen, or he could play a safety, bringing the six ball to the bottom rail, back up table to the left hand side of your screen, bringing the cue ball behind the seven ball. This is a lot like uh, a baseball pitcher, Allen. Both players take a great deal of time. You do that in baseball, and your infielders get back on your heels. If you're uh, a Minnesota Fats, let's say, who plays very fast, going against an Irving Crane who takes his Six time, ball. does that break your rhythm? Does that discourage you and actually hurt your timing? It slows you up. A fast player against a slow player, if the slow player plays very deliberate and makes most of his shots and plays good safeties, he will slow a fast player down. A fast player will start missing more balls and getting nervous because the fast player is used to being up at the table and shooting more or a slow player can sit down for 10 15 minutes and not bother him so much because he's used to playing slow anyway do you have a rule in your sport will the referee speed him up at all because it's a definite advantage to uh i would think to slow down a, a hyper quick nervous type of a player oh look at that no there's no rule there's no time schedule as far as playing i, I think the referee it's to the referee's discretion if he feels that you're taking time or stalling, he will tell you, you know, please shoot. If you don't shoot, you will be, caught, you will be charged with a foul. Let's take a look at the shot again because it was a beaut. Here he played a safety, but seven he ball. ended up making the six ball. Now he has to play it. He's going to play the seven ball up the corner. A very tough shot. And he overcut it. That was a very and tough shot. One. And he's left Jimmy Karras with no simple shot either. Seven ball. Jimmy Karras hadn't had much to shoot at today at all. No. It's been a little frustrating. Now he's got a little bit of a tough shot here. The cue ball is frozen against the rail. I mean, it's touching the rail. And well, he's got to come back out for the eight ball without scratching in the side. Oh. Yep. Tough mm. shot. He hit it Seven very, very good, too, but where the pressure shows up you got to make that ball 
looking at the position of the three balls left looks like he's in great shape for this one. Where do you want the cue ball to wind up now for the eight. Well he's got a wide open table but I don't think he got he got lucky. Believe me he got lucky there if he doesn't touch the eight he's comes down table and leaves himself a very tough shot. Now he's got he doesn't have well, a very it, easy shot anyway but at least it's a lot better than what ball. he would have had. He's going to follow the ball and go right into the nine ball here. Well, he leaves himself a long one, but he's been so effective with these cuts. No, oh, he can have this one, Irv. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's on the line here. <laughs> Crane and Karras are tied at one. Corner. This is no easy shot here, Irv. Uh, you're absolutely right. Let's see where this cue ball winds up. Yeah, I have to shoot at him. Now, well, he played the cue ball right. He brought the cue ball down the table and left Jimmy a long shot also. Anytime you have a long shot or if it's tough. He made it. Okay. Jimmy Karras <laughs> wins game number three. So the competition between Jimmy Karras and Irving Crane after three games, it's Karras two games to one. Crane won the seven ball competition. We'll be back with more nine ball right after this. Court Hotel in the Catskills. This is the legendary Game pocket billiards four. stars Karras tournament. It's four. a round robin tournament. Jimmy Karras leads this uh, set two games to one. We're playing nine ball. Five ball went in on a break. And the five went down, Alan. Yes, but he doesn't have a shot. Snooker. Got himself snuggered. He really hasn't been getting too many rolls. Jimmy Karras hey, grins. Did I hit him hard enough? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you just got a bad roll. They all love you, Alan. Yep. <laughs> That's what I like. As long as they're not this. playing me. <laughs> People aren't Frank afraid to come board. over and talk to you. <laughs> all right, let's see if he plays yep. safe here. Uh, he got a bad break. Bad Browns. One ball in the corner. Got a bad break there. Would have left him safe. This is Irving Crane. A little bit aggravated about the last game, not getting out. He should have gotten out there. He had the seven, eight, nine on the table. Looked like it was going to be his. Irving Crane started playing in World Championship Pocket Billiard Tournaments in April of 1937. Got a tough shot now. He can't make the two in the corner. I think he's going to play it in the side. And he does. But he doesn't like Ooh. the shot. He's left himself snooker. The three is covered by the four. Not only is it covered, it's not an easy ball to hit. He's got the seven ball on the side rail there where he really liked to hit the cue ball. Well, you know, taking a look at it, trying to figure an angle as a novice, I don't see one. Tell me what you would do in this case. The only thing he can do is go up and down the table, the long rail. It doesn't look like he can hit it where the seven ball is. He's going to have to come down to the bottom part of your screen, hit that rail, and come back up and try and hit the three. And he's going to have problems. If he hits it, he could scratch. That good-looking guy in the background there is Willie Moscone. He just kind of reeks of, of class, doesn't he? Huh? There's Willie. Unable to participate. You see the bandage on his ear. He had some minor surgery. And yet he has not missed a match. He's been in every game. Playing to hit the three ball. Here he's going to the side. That's going to be a tough shot to hit. No, well, there was it. no angle, was there? No, he had a very tough shot to hit. And he'll give cue ball in hand anywhere on the table to ball Jimmy Carroll. Playing to three ball. Which is a very big advantage. Jimmy has a nice layout here. All the balls are off the rail. They're all like near the center of the table. He'll play the three in the side, the four in the corner. Three in the side. The four in the, in the corner. Ball ball in the corner. It's more like a little stop, draw back a little bit for the six. Six Perfect. Corner. Jimmy Karras leads this competition two games to one. Here he'll draw back a little bit. He doesn't want to be over the nine ball. So he'll draw back Seven a little bit so corner. he can make his bridge. 
It's a little I, something, Irv, that a lot of players don't pick up. They leave the cue ball there and have a tough bridge on their next shot. That's right. If I'm betting, I'm betting this thing's over. You have a good bet. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, that little bulldog out there, look at him walk around that table. Here's a nice shot. He's going to draw the cue ball back. One rail and out. Oh, nice. Oh, got to make sure he doesn't scratch. Huh? Yeah, he leaves it on the rail. Nine ball in the Left corner. himself a tough shot. This is not an easy shot, Irv. 